why is it important to do styling well there's many reasons and i'm about to tell you all of them hello everybody welcome to my channel rasa the dancer is here and of course i'm ready for christmas i'm waiting for my family but i'm still thinking about you so this particular video we're going to be talking about styling because i actually go out dancing i talk with a lot of people and a lot of people are kind of like we don't want to do styling or we want to focus more on the partner work or we don't want to do online classes because we cannot do partner work and we don't want to be doing things on our own and it's all fair enough but there are so many reasons why you should should do more work on your own rather than with a partner. So I'm about to tell you all of those reasons. Okay, first of all, let's start with this. Unfortunately, we have only one word, which is styling, that describes a lot of different things. And people immediately think it's all about, you know, arms and some weird stuff that you might have to use it as a choreography or something that is not actually very relatable to the partner work itself or the social dancing as you may may call it and that is absolutely not true it depends where you're gonna go what you're gonna get of course some teachers teach choreographies and styling that doesn't make a lot of sense <laughs> but it's fun but it's maybe not as easy to apply to your social dancing but my workshops, for example, and so many other people workshops, we actually focus on the styling that you use in the partner work. So we actually train different steps and different positions of the arms and different positions of the body movement that actually you could use in the partner work. So styling, don't be afraid of that word and don't think that just because it's styling, it's not going to be usable. And especially when you're dancing crossbody salsa, you know that part of crossbody salsa is letting go of each other and actually doing a part of shine section. So it's the same as you want to learn new moves in the partner work, you should want to learn new shines. Otherwise, every single time you're going to do the same shines over and over and over again. So styling is just one word and it's both for men and women. We have different kind of styling, of course, but it's one word, but it represents so much more. So don't get put off. All right, another really important thing is actually lines, creating lines. You have to look at yourself in the mirror in the beginning when you do it, because if you're dancing in the partner work and somebody tells you to extend your arm in styling and making straight, how do you know whether it's straight? In your mind, this is straight, but it's, it's dropping down. So you have to, again, challenge your body, go through classes where they use a lot of arm positioning to actually discover where are those straight lines for your body. Does that make sense? Or a different line, not necessarily straight, but your body needs to, your muscles need to do these exercises all the time in order when it comes as an important thing, do it now, it just happens because your muscle memory now kick, is kicking in, but you cannot possibly do beautiful lines by just doing it in the partner work first time ever so that is also very important this is a big one body movement there is no way you're gonna learn body movement while you're dancing in the partner work and if you're dancing bachata central there's loads of body movement that you have to know how to do it and you have to practice those movements yourself. And this is again for leaders and for followers. Leaders, certain movements requires you to do the movement as well. So you have to learn these things individually. And also, for example, in salsa, whether it's Cuban or Afro-Cuban, uh, you get a lot of Afro movement that requires you to do on your own first. And there's so many things that you separate from one another and then you do some other things as well. But it's like you have to work on those things individually. So then when you come into the partner work and you're trying to do all of these crazy stuff, you actually know what's going on rather than you just come in and you hear, okay, now we bend, now we extend and you're going, <laughs> yes, oh, my Christmas tree. <laughs> Does that make sense? So you have to work on yourself individually for the body movement in order for it to work in the power work. 
Now, let me tell you uh, why you should actually focus more on working on individually yourself than the partner work. In the partner work, when you start learning all kinds of crazy things, one of the things that you struggle with the most is balance, whether you're leading or following. Because you're gonna be turning, you're gonna be attached to another person, you need to travel, sometimes you need to do explosive movements, and unless you know where your balance is and how to hold your own weight, you will always be dragging your partner with you. And again, this is both for leaders and for followers. How do you find your balance? You cannot find your balance while dancing with somebody else. You don't know where it is because another person is attached to you. That's why you have to do exercises, specific routines, specific movements that challenges your body, that you can discover where your balance is. So in the partner work, you are holding your own weight and you make the experience so much better. So you cannot find balance unless you do that work yourself. Now I'm gonna leave you with this. Please join in online workshops, okay? Everybody is very uh, worried about the online workshops. They don't wanna be doing it on their own with the Zoom. They think it's not gonna work or it's not gonna be productive. And you are absolutely wrong. Um, and you don't have to join in my online workshops, which I have on dancewithrasa.com. If you go there, you see I have a membership platform. You can join in. We do workshops and we work on all of these things. But there's many more. So I'm not just promoting myself. I'm just saying do any, <laughs> any at all, because it's so important uh, to keep on practice, practicing these things on a regular basis. And if you only go to a styling workshop, because the styling workshops don't happen very often. So if you go to a styling workshop once a month, it will give you not a lot of benefits. You will have more information, but not enough practice. You need something on a regular basis. And with online classes, you not only have that online support, but you also can do it regularly. If you cannot join it, you get usually the recordings of the classes so you can watch them in your own convenience, but you can actually keep on practicing once a week or twice a week and keep on trying and do the best you can because it's really hard to motivate yourself on your own. So join in online class, whether it's mine or somebody else's, just do it. Thank you for watching guys, hopefully that was useful. Please, in the comments, let me know if you think there's another reason why it's good to do styling. Is there something that I missed out? And also, if you have bad experience with styling classes or you don't enjoy them, could you please tell me in the comments why is that? So I could actually do some research and understand a little bit more where all of those things coming from. Now, I'm sending you my keys. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and check out these other styling videos and I'll see you soon guys. Mwah, 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 mwah.